Good morning, you beautiful lions. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. So, so excited. We have a special guest here with us today. We have our, our assistant superintendent, Dr. Pepakai. How are you? I am doing well on this fabulous Friday. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We love having special guests. Our kids can sometimes get a little bored of us, but that's why we always have to step it up and do crazy stuff. And they never... They never know what to expect. So, all right, here we go. Before we get too far in, we are gonna go ahead and stand for the pledge, boys and girls. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. All right. So Dr. Papakai, how are you? I'm doing well. I was on last school year, so I am so glad to be back. I enjoyed uh, being on here and it's, and it's really exciting and fun to watch you all. <laughs> uh, you and Mr. Penland, I know, are some staples here on the show. So <laughs> I was glad to be invited back. Absolutely. Anytime. You just let us know when you can fit us into your busy schedule. We, we love having you here. So it is Friday the 13th. It is. Mm, I don't know. That, that kind of gives me a little heebie-jeebies sometimes. But well, that's the thing. Yeah, I think usually on November 13th, people think, oh, you know, superstitious, bad things. But I was actually looking up some trivia on November 13th, and I found three things. So okay. in 1875, on November 13th, the first football game with uniforms took place, and that was Yale against Harvard. And Yale did win 4-0, and they had on their dark pants and blue shirts, and then Harvard had on their crimson and white. And then sure. in 1907, on November 13th, the first helicopter flight, and that was done, the, the craft was off the ground for one foot for 20 seconds. And so the Whoa. guy crafted his own kind of little contraption there for the yep. first helicopter flight. And then the third trivia um, was in 1956, interstate bus segregation. Um, was unconstitutional, was found unconstitutional, and that was from Rosa Parks and the Montgomery bus boycott. So three trivia facts for November 13th, which is different than your typical scary, spooky, superstitious thing that we talk about on November 13th. That's true. I, I, I love, I'm a super positive person, and so I love the fact that I can now think about Friday the 13th in a different light. However, I do have a question for you because the Laura Lions, like they like to know about us, okay. right? Because, you know, we're not just people on a screen, like we're real human beings in real life. So, so when you started talking about the helicopter, have you ever been in a helicopter? Yes, I have actually. Um, okay. I went down high school and there, um, they had a program for their national guard. They came uh -huh. and they actually um, took people to to see what they do a day in a life so I was able yeah. to go up in the helicopter it landed right there in Middletown High took me up we went up into Newcastle um so it was really really exciting to go up yeah there. yeah that's kind of what I was thinking so I've, I've actually been in one twice so one the um, Summit Aviation Station right here by our school did um, tours where you could do it on their aviation day. So I got to fly over my house. Oh, nice. Kind of cool. And then I also did a really, really scary one. Um, we we flew a helicopter ride through the Grand Canyon. Oh, it, wow. Um, that was probably yeah. pretty though. It was gorgeous, but um, <laughs> I'm a little scared <laughs> of... I don't know what, <laughs> that, was, that was an amazing once in a lifetime experience that I won't do twice. But. Yeah, I went to the Grand Canyon, but not, not through it in a helicopter. Yeah, definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. So very cool. All right, well, we got to learn something about um, Dr. Pepakai and me about helicopters today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that too. All right, we're gonna sign off with our lion pledge. So here at Lorewood, 
um, we love for students to roar and they are um, ready to learn, have opportunities to grow, accept everyone and respect ourselves and others. Because here at Lorewood, we are roaring with pride and potential. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.